So why mobile app? More and more business want to reach out to their customer faster and in a more personalized way. Also because our mobile devices are increasingly becoming very powerful computer and smarter devices. It is safe to say every business would need a mobile app or in some ways offer a mobile solution to their customers. In this course, we will be targeting the Android operating system and also we will be looking at prototyping a mobile phone using Samsung Galaxy Note 4 as our testing device. The steps we're going to use to create our prototype, we're going to be using a prototyping tool, which is the actual RP9, which is currently in beta version, but we will be using actual RP9 only. The deliverables we will be working on will be the interactive prototype, we'll be using dynamic panels, we'll be using conditions, and we'll be testing our mobile app idea on a real mobile device and also within the browser. The common screens we're going to be working on when it comes to the actual RP9, we're going to be working on the splash screen, the startup screen, onboarding, login, and so on onto to the notification and the settings page. We're going to be creating these screens using best practices, our naming convention, and also ensure that we test our prototype with our mobile device. In this course, you will learn and feel more confident creating designs from an idea, prototyping mobile application and share with your stakeholders and your users and investors. We'll be getting comfortable creating high fidelity interactive prototype, creating and using interaction, condition, animation, widget and applying transition, and we'll be making use of the if and else condition, all created in actual RP9. We will be creating sliders, we will be creating pop-up model box, and we will be creating material design style forms. We will be using dynamic panel, and I'll be showing you some hints and tips about how I prototype faster. If you have any question, you can always send me an email, and I will respond to you accordingly. I'm here to support your app idea, and to reduce your overhead development cost, and also improve on your new skills of learning actual RP9. The requirement you need for this course is you need a trial version or a license copy of actual RP9 and if you don't have actual RP9 and you have a license copy of actual RP8 you can download the beta version of the actual RP9 and you'll be able to get actual RP9 as well for free. Um, we will not be testing on Internet Explorer 9 or below. We will be testing our mobile app on Google Chrome, the uh, Google Chrome browser. So get your browser setting, and we will be testing on that device. Um, the users that this course is targeted at is targeted anyone who wants to learn how to prototype mobile application in Azure RP9 because a lot has changed in terms of the design layout compared to Action 7, compared to Action 8, and we will be looking at what has changed in Action 9. So this course will not be relevant if you are going to be prototyping your mobile application in Action 7 or Action 8. We will be looking at Action 9 only. Anyone who wants to brush up their skills in Action 9 or who, who, and who is new to Action 9, prototyping course or prototyping tools then we will be able to use that as well um, anyone who has a desire or a need to prototype the mobile app for their app idea is welcome on this course as well um, if you are a beginner and intermediate or an advanced user we will be using some hints and tips about how we can prototype faster using actual rp9 this course is designed solely for actual rp9 only so Let's begin our journey together and welcome again to introduction to Action RP 9 mobile prototyping course. I hope this series will be enjoyable. I hope this series will be profitable for you and I hope you're going to have a good understanding of the new Action RP 9. So go get a cup of coffee and let's start prototyping today.